Hi, I'm Ken, and I'm going to show you how to prepare a delicious prime rib to impress your friends over the holiday season. Plan to purchase 8 to 10 ounces of raw prime rib roast per person. This is an easy roast to prepare. Your butcher can suggest a special pre-mixed seasoning blend. Simply cover the meat with spice, rub, and it's ready for the oven. If you like, you can season the meat up to 24 hours in advance. Wrap it with plastic wrap and refrigerate until ready to cook. Use a roasting pan that's just slightly bigger than the roast itself. If the pan's too big, the juices will spread and evaporate, causing the roast to dry. To lock in juice and flavor, make sure the fatter side is facing up. The meat bastes itself as it cooks. It's not necessary to add water and no need to cover. I recommend starting at a high temperature, 450 degrees, to sear the outside. Then turn down oven to 325 degrees after 30 to 45 minutes. Allow about 13 to 15 minutes per pound. The goal is that the rolls be browned on the outside with a tender pink center. You'll need a meat thermometer to measure the temperature of the inside of the roast. If you do not have one, ask your butcher for a pop-up timer. Push the thermometer into the middle of the roast, making sure not to hit fat, bone, or the pan. A medium rare roast is ready at 135 degrees. If you prefer medium roast, aim for around 150 degrees. Keep in mind the roast temperature will rise at least 5 degrees after removing from the oven. Let the roast stand for 15 to 20 minutes before carving to let the juices reabsorb. To carve, first remove the string and the bone. Cut off slices at the ends of the roast for the guests that would like it well done. Slices from the middle will be more rare. Served with a few side dishes, you will have a meal sure to impress.